Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure. So what's happening here? Well, I'm docked at this kind of starport looking thing. Uh, let's fly over here. Yeah, this cool looking base. It's a, it's a trade base so you, we can interact with it. I have a bunch of credits on me. I think I do have a bunch of, to, of, of stuff. I've been doing some harvesting and, and selling and whatnot. And yeah, and so now you're going to kind of watch what I've been doing. So I've been kind of working on the ship a little bit here. Kind of created the cargo area down here. And I'm kind of, oh, look at that. <laughs> like, really? Uh, can I space on that? I'm upside down now. That's wonderful. Let's, can I go space? Can I align myself? There we go. Okay. Much better. Much better. <laughs> so where was I? Yeah, it's been a crazy week for me, by the way. This is kind of like a status update video. As Why am I flipping upside down? Even the base is upside down, I think. Unless that's the bottom of it, and I'm just upside down in general. That is odd. Sorry, folks. I just I always get this weird behavior when I'm recording. Never when I'm I'm actually playing, which is kind of funny. So let's hop into here. Hop into the ship core. Okay, we're gonna explain it like this with this. So down here, I have. A I'm gonna make it. I think three high. Only three high. So so one more, and then there'll be a block up above that. So I'm thinking something like this. Let's see here. Let's make sure we got our plane established. We definitely want to duplicate this on the other side. So what have I been doing? I've been basically doing this kind of stuff. I've been kind of building up the cargo area here to make it you know, look snazzy, making it look cool. So that way when people come and visit, they'll be able to see the coolness of this ship. I am using the advanced armor for this because I do want the protection from it. So I want it to be heavy and hard. I mean, you're basically hard to to take out. I was going to put another row of these things here, but I think I'm going to create windows. And if that's the case, then if I create a window, I kind of want to have a design kind of coming from it so that way when you're outside the ship it, it will look cool but yeah um i might not make the cargo as close to that but maybe i am I, i'm not sure i'm still kind of deciding that i've been working on the interior here a little bit been adding some lights so that way it kind of lights up the area a bit still need to add the lights here kind of made these the slanted pieces if you if you notice right which is kind of neat not sure what I'm going to do with this one here going down. I'm not sure if I'm going to cover this up or leave it open. I'm kind of leaning towards leaving it open because I like the look of that. It's pretty freaking cool. I had to install these longer bars for for power generation because I just wasn't getting enough. And I might keep that there. I might actually s seal that somehow. It is on the floor that there would be a floor here by chance, purely by chance, you know, by luck. So maybe we can kind of lock this area off and have some quarters up here. Actually, no, no, not quarters. I was going to put fighter bays. I was going to have a fighter bay here and then a fighter bay up in here. But I'm not 100% on that. Because of the carrier thing, I kind of want to try out the carriers. For sure, for sure. And then good old Jace Machine. You know, he's definitely... He sent me an IP address, and I'm not 100% sure what it's for, but I think I know what it's for, and I will have to divulge that uh, one day. I want to finish this ship here. You blueprint it, and then divulge that other information. So that's kind of like the plan. So if you're if you're watching Jace, um, yeah, I got the message, and I will be on there as soon as my internet stays my internet so I've been doing a lot of single player games which means I am upside down look at that see these little things I'm assuming that they're kind of hanging so it means I need to turn around but yeah but yeah so you know, my internet sucks and <clears throat> let's turn this around back up Ooh. okay now we're going the right way there we go 
there's a big dome on on here which is pretty cool turn that on so yeah so actually i'm gonna do some harvesting here this is actually a pretty cool place to hang out is there an undetonator here it'd be nice to be able to get on this and access an undetonator on here maybe we can interact with this without the ship because um, sometimes you can interact with these trade stations and you normally you should be able to use the ship core and see it's it says it doesn't belong to the faction so if we get out of the ship here uh, which is R um, I'm, I'm sitting down that's right T and if we fly over here Gonna, I'm going to right click on this. Oh no, R. Oh, okay, never mind. But there was a door that I accessed. I wasn't sure if it's on here or if it's somewhere else. Let's see. If, I'm going to see if it's on here. There is a door. There has to be a door somewhere, another access into this, this base. Now, as server admin of my own server, I could probably just puncture a hole and go inside. But that would defeat the purpose of this, right? Well, I don't know. Anyway, sometimes you can open these doors and you can gain access. So, yeah. So, anyways, as I was saying, I was talking just about how sometimes we can access these places. But for whatever reason, it just doesn't let me. I don't know if that's still like a bug or if I'm doing something wrong. Maybe I need a faction module, but yeah. Um, <clears throat> but basically what I'm going to do is I'm press stop. Okay, so don't crash into that. <laughs> I need to add more thrusters onto this. and So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue building onto my ship. Let's just do a quick peek of the ship again just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on. So here's the ship now. Pretty cool. It's... You know, I was thinking of kind of copying this section and then moving it out. Um, <laughs> there was someone who commented, and I did not get your name. I didn't write it down and all that stuff. I know a lot of other YouTubers do, and I'll have to look back, and I'll have to recognize you for that in my next video. But, yeah, I, I should have grabbed your name, so I apologize for that if you're watching this video. But yeah, but basically I'm going to put cannons into here. I'm going to put missile tubes into these two bottom ones and then these two on top here. So that way they're kind of, you know, there's some missiles there. And then I want to hook in um, whatever makes them homing. I want to hook in that you know, that piece in, in, under here in, into the systems. You know, like in between these two floors here, I'm going to put that. So that way then they're homing missiles and so that way they're kind of useful. And then once this is all done and the shell is done, there's going to be spots for turrets. I'm going to put one in the back here. I'm going to put one on each side here, I believe. Maybe. And then one on the bottom. Maybe. <laughs> there's still maybes. That's kind of the idea. I might not need to if I can turn the ship fast enough. So that's why I'm going to try and fill these in with as many thrusters as I can, as long as I can power them. I might be coming to critical mass though soon, but the ship is getting heavier, so I do need good thrusters. So I'm going to just fill them up with thrusters and see what happens there. Going to kind of work on this inside part here a little bit more, and so that way you can see what happens there. But yeah, but hopefully that will be cool. I'm going to try and make it look cool inside here. So yeah, so thank you everybody for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this episode, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.